Yo, this production! Her voice. Oh. This is my favorite part. Ah. Ooh. We are here. Um, we are here for part two of Triple S's um, Assemble 24 first listen. Oh, excellent so far. Excellent so far. Let's uh, get right into 24. This is such a vibe. Ooh. They always give lalas. La, 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 la. This is like girls' capitalism and and generations. Their laws combined into a new type of law, if that makes sense. Like it feels like a natural progression from those songs. And even this. Even goes never die. Oh. It also seems kind of like it has vibes. This literally sounds like it's fitting for it to be called Twenty Four because this literally sounds like every single unit's title track. I kind of mashed into one because I'm also getting like some of the um, glitchy kind of. Um, glitchy like just like glitch pop type elements that were in cherry talk as well um let's see if i'll get something from invincible because that's the only one i <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, because this sounds like la 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 because this sounds like the dance break from uh shit, what's it called? And then, uh, I feel like I'm right. <laughs> I feel like this is meant to be like a mix mash of elements from all their title tracks. And it works so well. It's a cherry. They said generation. So good. Wait, it's almost over. Vocals, damn. Jeez. Eating the vocals. Oh. I really like that one as well. That one was above as well. The production, bruh, that's uh, that's literally what I have to say about it. It literally sounds like a mix mash of all of the elements that have composed their title tracks, specifically up to this point, the units, and they put it into one song titled 24. And I love that. I love that because it worked. <laughs> it worked. It like like it had those familiar elements but it also combined them in such 
a perfect way and it added some elements of its own. We'd love to see it. The vocals, oh, very catchy. That one will probably be the one. Actually, no. <laughs> I was about to say that one might actually be the one I play the most from the album, but it's absolutely, it's absolutely 110% gonna be white soul sneakers events <laughs> or heart raider those are the ones i'm gonna have on repeat 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 but that one i'm also gonna have a repeat 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 just maybe not the most one repeat beyond the beyond i love her <laughs> What saxophone or trumpet or whatever? It's a girl. Yo, this production! Love the vocal. It's getting better. Yes! I'm so glad she repeated it. I'm so glad she repeated it. If she didn't repeat it, I'd have been irritated. No, it's fine. They repeated it once. Oh, these piano cards. Ah, you got the house organs too? But the bridge. Who is this girl? I think it might be two. It might be two or three that are going with these ad libs, but it could also t just be one. Who are doing these? Who's doing these notes? She's on my short list for bias. Still going with the others. Ah, oh, the Lalas. I'm telling you, the Lalas belong to Triple S now. First and foremost, the soul in some of this vocal arrangement, like melodically, they are going places with these, oh my goodness. And then the production, oh my goodness, the piano, the beat, the tempo, like just, but just, oh my goodness. The beats, once again, so immersive. Great background vocals as well. This, yes, this is easily, is easily, this is easily my favorite project from them thus far. 
and we love to see it. We love to see it. It's great that it's like the full proper one. Like, cause that just means that just means that the vision is realized. Like the vision is realized. Like, like it gives me the same type of satisfaction as when like NCT comes out, the entire group, and because also when NCT comes together as the entire group, they just casually drop like some of the best b-sides of the year all on one project <laughs> and to me that means the vision is realized oh, it's realized in the small ways through the subunits but when they come all together and they give you the full experience it elevates it elevates it elevates we love to see it and it's non-scale It's also good. It's it's getting even better than I thought it was going to. Melody. Oh my goodness. Why are they so... Why is that... This is so good. Mm. Wow, the switch up! I like how the voice is layered there and the effect on her voice. Oh, this is my favorite part. Love that now. This could very easily have been the title track, but Girls Never Die definitely needed to be the title track. But if that didn't exist, I have a feeling it would have to be this one. This is too good. Oh, Dimension! I want to have the full version of Dimension is gonna sound. Do the units exist in different dimensions? Is that why everyone has a song? Does everyone have a version of Dimension? Does every subunit have a version of Dimension? Bruh, beautiful, beautiful, excellent. Bruh, 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 bruh. I've heard it said before that um, some people think that um, this group is kind of reminiscent of kind of like that Luna sound, which would make sense, you know, Jade and Jong or whatever. But um, I actually don't see it most of the time. <laughs> 
<laughs> I actually don't see it most of the time, but I kind of saw it that time that that like, especially in that chorus, but just with like in terms of the synths and like stuff and use only like, but only that part, like that's the part where I really can see that, that and some and maybe like another one from like some other like 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 I feel like my, my this might be a hot take but I feel like um I feel like that is kind of like overstated when people like compare compare this group's sound to Luna um I I think I think you can make like I think you can make the comparisons but like I feel like people bring it up too much <laughs> but I bring it up that time because it sounds like it's, it kind of gives that sound, but it's still very firmly triple S to me. Like there is still like this, like, I don't know. It's so, it's how I, it's so hard to describe. There's this otherworldly vibe that their music kind of gives. And it's probably also because I've seen like their visuals as well. Like there's, there's something very otherworldly about their production. And I feel like it's consistent throughout everything and so even that one and so like whereas i see where they might be carrying on that sound they've definitely made it their own in a very good way in my opinion anyways look uh dimension let's get right into it false start This is much more explicitly jazzy. Jazz. Oh. Oh. I like this version. Oh, this is a vibe. Love all the hits, like the 90s elements. The bass. And that bass percussion. That's in for the back. What about it? Yo, the bass is moving. Uh, this bumps. Love that progression with the bass in the back. The moment. That dum dum dum. The fire. Ah. Ooh. Ooh, they brought it to Ama Piano House. Ooh, the Oh, this bumps. <gasps> you see, there's something very ethereal about that. It's so hard to put my finger in. But it's very otherworldly.
Yeah. The, this version of Dimension is so different than the other ones. I think I think that might be the... I, I can't even lie to you, though. It might be my favorite version of Dim <laughs> Dimension that we've heard from them thus far. Definitely, I vibe with the the more, ex like, like, the jazzy elements that had a lot of 90s elements in it as well. Um, and just the production, just the vibes, just the vibes, just the vibes. That one was absolutely 110% my vibe. Oh, wait. We're on the wrong one. Uh, let's, let's hang you out here. Bruh. Bruh, they're so good. They're so good. This is easily like my favorite project from them thus far. And we love to see it because I feel like they, I just like them more and more every single time I react to them. And um, oh, this is no, this is no exception. This is no difference. 110% loved everything I heard. Um, the only thing that's not really my vibe is Midnight Flower, but I wouldn't even skip it. Like if I were to play this album, I would let it play. Like I'm not mad at its presence and I and I suspect that I would enjoy a live performance of it. But other than that, like it, it's like it's a no skip <laughs> from child for me. Oh my goodness. White Soul Sneakers is my favorite. I I think I have to go with White Soul Sneakers as my favorite. Um I don't know what to tell you is my second favorite. I think Beyond the Beyond might be my second favorite. And then Heart Raider. But then after that, there's no point in trying to choose a favorite because then I like everything else so much as well, bruh. Wow. 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 And my understanding is that I'm pretty sure that the instrumental moment of Girls Never Die is not on this. I haven't listened to the Spotify version, even though I just added it to my likes. But um, I got, it's quite a bit shorter than, it's a little bit shorter than it should be, right? In terms of the time, I'm pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure I remember like reading um, um, something on Twitter that said <laughs> that it wasn't in, um, that it wasn't in it, so. But, um, um, which is unfortunate because Girls Never Die would have ranked up there near my top ones, if only for the instrumental breakdown, but it's fine or whatever. Um, uh, I, ugh, I can't stand when Kaba does that though. That's so annoying. <laughs> uh, anyways, look, child. Um, I don't have much more to say beyond that. It was excellent. Let me know your favorites down below. Let me know your ranking, your favorite song, whatever you want to let me know. Um, let me know the scoop on the members, um, especially whoever's doing those ad libs at any of those times I pointed out. And uh, yeah, if you made it this far, thank you so much for dealing with me. Whatever this was, over triple S. Like, comment, subscribe, if you choose, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Oh, <laughs> they stole some. Matthew. Not them going out on a date and us bearing witness. I love that. That's how you get closer, child. You guys okay? Oh my goodness! What is happening?